What's happening, gamers? I'm back again tonight. You know what that means. I got a solo dupe glitch, and I'm ready to show you guys. It's not mine at all. It's still Obese Giraffe, so props to him as the founder. But this is a little workaround, or a little, you know, kind of renovation to it that Morphe over on 7 Sins posted. And I've been able to hit it successfully on Xbox in about three different fucking ways, all right? This glitch can be hit in many ways, but I'm going to show you the first way, which is the way that he posted with his directions, all right? Now, what you're seeing on the screen, well, before we actually get into that, make sure you hit that blue thumbs up, smack that like button, you know you want to, subscribe to me if you haven't already, and turn on post notifications so you can be notified about any more of this dope, informative content. Now, look at that. If you can count, pause the screen right there, there's nine retros in my Ulta Street garage. That's nine. I literally have every other space on this account completely filled with retros or something else. I have one space in all of my garages. Now, if you look over here, well, two spaces technically, because I have this empty space right here as well in this garage. This is what you want. So you want this 10 car garage over here at Murrieta Heights, and it's got to have one empty space and the rest filled with whatever. All right. Just put a bunch of RH8s in there. Now you're going to want to park your MOC exactly how I have it here. Kind of perpendic uh, perpendicular. All right. Now go ahead and go on the internet, order a free elegy. You're going to put it in that empty slot at Murrieta Heights. All right. So, doesn't matter the color, just go ahead and order that bitch. And I'm going to put it right here, Murrieta Heights. All right? So, once you do that, go ahead and back out of the internet. Run into your MOC. Make sure you got the retro that you want to dupe in there. I know I'm going kind of fast, guys, but this is a crazy-ass glitch, all right? I'll post a uh, text tutorial down there in, in the description for everybody to follow along. And you're going to go ahead and get into your retro. With, I would recommend a custom plate because I've been getting some that are duping with a random plate and some with my custom plates. So I'd say still use custom plates, but you know, do it at your own risk. If you're doing it this way, you should be good without one, but let's see. All right, so I got the garage full. And if you hear, I'm gonna press right D-pad and right when that door of the MOC hits the ground, a little bit after that, I'm pressing A and check out what happens. So I'm going in, I'm gonna switch the car with the RH8 that I ordered. All right, I'm transferring that. So right now the RH8 that still hasn't been delivered is being delivered to the MOC now instead. All right, so I stepped out of the garage. Now I'm gonna run back inside. Once this loads up, all right, follow along with me guys. Make sure you have your spawn location set to last location by the way, for all of these. I'm gonna show you two methods. I'm hopping back into the retro that I'm trying to do. Remember the license plate, WTF roll. Well, it totally doesn't matter, but just look at it. All right, now I'm gonna go back into my MOC. It's gonna transfer that RHA back into that garage now. And at this point, I'm actually just gonna press start. You could go find a new session. This works for me. I go to start, creator. And at this point, going through the creator, I'm going to eventually press start and then go into an invite only session. All right. If any of you guys don't know, that's one of the quickest ways to get into another invite only from online. Just open up the creator. So now that I'm at the creator menu, press start, go to online, go to play GTA online, invite only session. All right. So we're spawning down now. There we go. And according to the directions, he was saying that go into the garage and you should see the retro there without uh, your custom plate. It should just have a random, completely random generic plate, not even the one on the Elegy. But no, it was the car that I had ordered, that black Elegy off the uh, internet. Then what I actually started thinking about was, wait a minute, what about that one spot? Remember I, guys, I showed you guys that I had one missing spot in Ulta? There was only nine retros in there. I'm going to show you guys right now. The game, basically, once you went into another session, the game put the duplicate inside of the random empty space that I had. This wasn't empty anymore because the elegy got there. So watch, when we go to Alta, well, this isn't yet. All right, let's go to Alta right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so that's where it actually went. It got transferred over to the only empty space I had in all of my garages. So that's one way you can do it. That's the way that Morphe posted over on Seven Sins. And once again, if that was a little bit confusing, I'll post his text tutorial in the description, all right? So now the second method. And right here, I had actually just went and changed the plate. This was something else. 
and I'm going over here. I've already parked my MOC there. Make sure you got the personal vehicle storage. Same as the glitch that we've been doing before, the one that I couldn't hit with obese, uh, the, the first one, excuse me, that obese giraffe came out with. So now we're gonna be doing something similar. I'm just gonna park this inside of my MOC. Now I'm gonna leave all of this uncut. This is probably the longest part of the video because I want to show you guys. You can do that first method. That first method does work if you have empty spaces. But I wanted to show you another way that freaking does work for some reason, all right? It's just another little variation of this glitch. There's just a lot of possibilities that you can do with it, all right? So now that I got my retro inside the personal vehicle storage, that's the car that I want to dupe. I'm going back into the garage and I'm gonna show you guys one empty space. Now this in this video, this is literally the one empty space that I have right here and everywhere in all my garages. So, and the LG is gonna be parked there. Your dupe will never, at least not as far as I know, will end up there. It'll end up in another space in another random garage. That's how that's just how the game is doing this uh, this glitch right here. All right, so I'm gonna open up my internet. Go to Legendary Motorsport, and we're going to order up another free allergy. All right, there's the RH8. Go black, order, and put it right there in Murrieta Heights in that one empty space. All right, so exit out of the internet. Now I'm going to run into my MOC, and check this out. I don't, I don't know if it's because I did this multiple times, but you're going to see another way because I, heard, I saw some people on the forum saying that this is happening to them, and they didn't actually know what to do. This I found on accident. I didn't know what to do either, and I just kind of did whatever. So I'm getting the the retro out of my MOC, and we're going to go do the same thing to get glitched out. We're going to back into the garage. We're going to make sure that we get that ding. Little ding noise. Hit the right D-pad, and then A shortly after the MOC door closes or hits the floor. So now, boom, look at that. I spawned inside of my, you know, of the MOC next to the retro. I didn't think it worked. I thought I fucked up the glitch. So I get back in my retro, and I actually drive back out, and I attempt to do this again. So same process. I'm going to back up. God damn, it just started raining over here. All right, so yeah, I'm going to back up. Do the same thing, hit right D-pad, then A, and look at this, I spawned inside of my goddamn car. So at this point, I thought I fucked it up again. So look at this, I actually go back and do it one more time. Do I think you have to do this multiple times? No. I think you actually only have to get glitched inside of the car once, and you'll see what you do once you're glitched inside of the car. Now, once again, like I said, I thought I kept fucking up the glitch. So we're gonna do this again, right D-pad, then press A. Once the MOC, you know, garage door closes. And look at this, I'm spawned inside the goddamn car once again. I was fed up, I didn't want to get inside the car, so I ended up running out. Now as I ran out, uh, right now I'm tapping A, and I tried to press X to jump, and I noticed I'm glitched the fuck out. I can't open up my phone right now, I can't sprint. I think interaction menu works, but that's it. So you know what, I go online, and I just go to creator. I'm like, let's see what happens, you know? So same as before, once you load into Creator, go ahead and press Start, press right bumper, all the way, and get to the that tab, and then go to an invite-only session. Play GTA, invite-only session. Once again, I don't think that you have to do that same glitched out part three times. Once you get stuck inside the car, just go ahead and do what I did. Go outside of the car, make sure you're glitched, and then go into Creator, and look what happens. I spawn over here with this with one of these cars. And I'm thinking that's just the one from the MOC, right? But, let's see what happens. So I open up my interaction menu. I go to Mobile Operations Center. I can't request it right now, so I just get out of the car. Walk away a little bit, boom, and then the request comes up. So I go ahead, I request it. And I will start making my way over, pretty much remember all the spawn points around here, so. I wanted it to spawn over here by the bridge. And as I'm making my way over there, like I said, I'm thinking this is just the car from the uh, from the MOC. I thought the glitch was over, you know? And I was like, yeah, you know what? I didn't get any dupe or anything. Let's see what happens. So I'm making my way over here 
And I start driving here and check this out. I want to go park it in there. I press right D-pad. Look what I get. Personal vehicle storage is full. So I'm just like, whoa, hold up real quick. So I get out of the car and I'm going to go inside the MOC and I'm going to check this shit out. Because I don't know what the fuck is in there. I thought I was driving the retro from my MOC. But that's not what it is. Look at this shit. The dupe is actually inside of the MOC. And the original was right there outside. I do believe that the dupe is the one inside of the MOC. If anybody knows in the comments, let me know, please. But yeah, so you actually can dupe a car that way too. And there was a second attempt that I actually had where I got caught in the infinite loading screen before it spawned me in the MOC or the garage or anything once I got glitched out. I ended up just joining a friend, not in a different targeting mode, just joined a friend, got into his session, and the same thing happened. I spawned with one of these retros here, I went to go try to park it into my MOC, and there was another retro there. So you can actually still dupe when you get stuck into the MOC, just make sure you're getting stuck in the car. I think it's when you get stuck in the car, not only when you get just stuck on the side of the car, because that can happen as well. More testing still has to be done, but if you want the surefire method, have some empty spaces in your garages and do the first method in the video. But this shows you when things can possibly go wrong, what you can also do. The car can still dupe. You just have to do what I did in the steps over here, all right? So guys, that's all I got for you today. Uh, if anything else does come out, if uh, once I figure out some more ways to fine tune this glitch, I will come out with future videos. But yeah, for now, that's it. My name is Roll Easy. Hit that subscribe button, like the fucking video, turn on post notifications so you can be notified about any more of this fresh and informative dope motherfucking content, and I'm out, guys.